caregivers and welcome to what's going on with mama today I've got a cameraman Michael is holding the camera today so we're gonna try that and see how it goes cuz I'm in the kitchen today it is not ta uh, tasty Thursday it is wacky Wednesday and remember I can tell you to do whatever I want to do on Wednesday well let's see let me get my notes here cuz today it is 49 degrees right now and guess what it's gonna be 73 don't expect to knock on my door and find me inside the house today. I'm going to be outside walking around getting some steps, which just happens to go right along with what we're talking about today. So our sponsors today are Vitamin Depot. Check out Vitamin Depot on Selenies Road right behind Burger King and Dunkin' Donuts. Talk to David there about pooping. That's what we're going to talk to talk about today and David can tell you some good products to help you poop. In fact, tomorrow we're going to talk about one of David's products that will help with pooping. That is Vitamin Depot at 2685 Selenies Road. Also, Life in the Carolinas. Love that television show. Check it out at lifeinthecarolinas.com. Their episodes are there. You're going to enjoy seeing what life is like in our wonderful part of the world, just in case you're not privileged enough to live here. Then Passmore's Grocery and Grill on Saluda Street. Go to Passmore's and ask them about the witness stick. Michael, take the camera over here just a minute. I just happen to have a witness stick that they gave me. Now this is a witness stick that they were kind enough to give me. I'm not gonna tell you about it, that's their job. Ask them about the witness stick when you go. So those are our sponsors for today and I'm glad that they are here to help bring this broadcast to you every morning. Well, I told you that today we're gonna to talk about pooping. You just never know what we're going to talk about on this show. But pooping is something we all do, right? And if you don't, well, you're not a happy person and you start feeling bad. Pooping becomes a problem with folks with dementia for lots of reasons. But one would be the brain is not communicating with the bowel. The brain is not communicating with the bladder, too. So we start having a lot of incontinence issues. But today we're talking about the, the pooping issue, which would be the bowel. So the brain and the bowel are not have that conversation like they should so that when all that movement starts going and you go hmm I think I might need to go to the bathroom someone with dementia may not be able to process that thought so they don't go to the bathroom and then we have hmm, then we got something we got to clean up right or we find out that our folks with dementia are becoming constipated more easily because of lots of reasons so what are some of the reasons that they can become constipated and that you can become constipated too. Well, one of them is you're not moving enough or they are not moving enough. Enough exercise. That's why I said you're going to see me outside today walking around, pushing the doggy stroller. Well, she has seizures if she walks very long, so I put her in the stroller. So I'm walking, walking, walking because all of that movement helps you to go to the bathroom and that's important. But when it's cold outside, you're going to find me inside walking in place, walking in place. The scenery never changes. It gets so boring. That's why I'm excited I can get out today. So regular movement will help with preventing constipation. Constipation can also be caused by medications that you're on. Think about that. Maybe you're on a medication that could be switched out for something different that would not cause the constipation. Now, I'm not recommending that you go and use laxatives. Mm. Use the laxatives if you have not gone to the bathroom in like a month, because <laughs> you really do need to go. But laxatives can actually lead to constipation because your body becomes dependent upon them and the bowels get lazy and they don't want to do the job of elimination. So be careful with laxatives. So let's talk about some natural ways to prevent constipation, not only in you, but in your loved one with dementia. And let's start with breakfast. Now we're gonna to cook tomorrow, but today I wanna to talk, to talk to you about what I eat for breakfast and why I eat it for breakfast. Why I eat it is because it makes me go to the bathroom. Every morning, at least twice in the morning, I will go to the bathroom. I mean, it is a very enjoyable bathroom trip. You know those bathroom trips where you sit there and you think you're gonna die where it hurts, it's painful. Or you sit there and nothing happens. I don't have that issue anymore. And that is something that has been a problem in the lives of the females in our family for generations. And I'm like, I'm not dealing with this. And so I make sure that I get lots of fiber. And the way I do it is I start my day with a cereal that I make myself. Super easy, super easy. So I start well, first of all, this should be a commercial for Aldi because I looked here and every one of these are Aldi products. I told you I love that store. I'm going to send them a note and tell them that. So what I start with is 
Oh, brand, this is a brand new container. I eat lots of oatmeal. <clears throat> so I start with rolled oats. I never buy the instant or the quick cook. I always buy the old fashioned because the um, the flakes of the oats are far bigger. And I don't like them all mushed up like that. Watch me just spill it all over the counter here. So I do about three quarters of a cup of those wonderful oats just straight out of the box. I add to that um, all these pumpkin and flax granola. Now, you can add whatever cereal you want. I am allergic to everything under the sun, but this is their Simply Nature um, organic pumpkin and flax cereal. I am not allergic to it, so I have to be careful about what I use. I recommend these products. They're Simply Nature products, or you can also use Kashi products. Kashi products are natural. Be careful about what you're using. It's not loaded up with sugar and all that stuff that's bad for you. So I'm going to finish off that measuring cup with just enough of that to, I don't know, it gives it a little more taste, and I like the crunch. It's a pretty happy combination. I think they've got one that's coconut and coconut and something. I forget what. Now, if I am feeling especially good about myself and the food that I've eaten lately, and I think I can afford the extra calories, I'll dig down in here in these raisins. Do you like raisins? Oh, good gosh, I could eat raisins till my head exploded. And I might put a tablespoon or two of raisins on there. I'm not gonna put that many raisins because I had a little splurge last night. I had some french fries. <gasps> when I go to heaven, there will be french fries, I am sure. So I won't have many raisins because of that. But then I also put just a handful, about a palmful of sliced almonds. I buy those at Aldi too. This bag of sliced almonds is, oh, I think it's about $5, but it'll last several weeks adding it to your cereal. Throw it in the bowl. Let's get a little bit of tossing going on there to get it tossed up. And then I add to it, let me steal from over here. This is a product I get from David at the Vitamin Depot. It is sweet drops. I don't use artificial sweeteners. Those things will kill you. I don't use sugar. Sugar causes inflammation. Inflammation is bad for your body. It's bad for your brain. So what are we going to use? David sells sweet drops. This is stevia, but it's natural stevia. The stevia that you buy in the store has been processed and it is not good for you. It comes in a dropper, so I just get a little bit of it and I squirt, that wasn't much, but squirt a little bit on there and there I'm sweet. Well, I was sweet anyway, but now I'm sweeter. Then I use almond milk from Aldi. It's the 30 calorie one. Whatever milk you use, do be careful about dairy products though. Dairy products can lead to constipation. Dairy products can lead to mucus um, building up in your um, sinuses. Mm, not so crazy about loading up on dairy. Now, cheese is the exception because I told you girl loves some cheese. Pour that over there. You can measure it out if you want to. But I'm figuring at 30 calories, I don't have to worry too much about measuring it out. Stir it up. Call me and tell me this isn't about the best cereal you've had. In, well, not counting pancakes and waffles and stuff like that. But the best high fiber cereal that you've had in a long time. Mm. I am not kidding. That stuff is good. And you do. Mm, mm, mm. You got to chew a lot. And that's the whole point. Excuse me while I chew this. If it just slides down, you're not getting that chewing action. That chewing action makes you feel fuller. And it also means that you're eating something that has more fiber and that's good for you. Simple, easy cereal. Give it a try. Now I want to come over here and show you what I drink every day. You see this? This is a gallon container. I drink this gallon container full of water. Water is so essential to your health. Now, I'm not talking sodas, and I am not talking fruit juices. Tea, well, okay, tea is predominantly water. I might give you some leeway on that one. But if your tea is full of caffeine, that caffeine's not good for your body. You've got to be careful about this stuff. You only get one chance to do this body right, so let's do it right. Now, I'm going to have a little um, disclaimer here. I don't think we should use things in cans. However, right now, this is what I have. I prefer to use the um, sparkling water that Aldi sells. It's in the bottles rather than cans, but I'm out of that, so I wanted to make this for you and show it to you. But this is just the, un, un not unflavored, this is flavored, uh, not sweetened, bubbly water. Aldi uh, sells it for like 39 cents, I think. You can get all different kinds of flavors. I put two of those in here. At this point, I stopped and put some of this sweetened. I think I'm gonna move my container out of the way. 
Now, if you're making your water in this every day, consider once in a while stopping and washing it. <laughs> you know, you just get used to filling it up every day and you forget to wash it. So I'm going to put two, three, I put about eight or ten squirts of this because it's, it's a gallon. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I love this stuff. I truly do. And then guess what? I just start filling it up with water. This is Aldi water. Truly, got to get these people to sponsor us with as many Aldi products as I use. Now, looky here. In this right hand, I'm going to show you something different. Uh, that is not an Aldi water. That's Fiji water. Fiji water is one of only, I think, three waters that are produced that the water flows over rock and it picks up silica. Silica has been shown to remove aluminum that accumulates in the brain. You're not supposed to have any aluminum in your brain, but the autopsies that are done on folks with Alzheimer's show that they have aluminum in their brain. You don't want that. So you're gonna drink some Fiji water. Now I can tell you, the cheapest and easiest way to bring Fiji water into your home is to order it off Amazon. Go to smile.amazon.com and you'll find it. Have them deliver it to you because that mess is heavy to carry. Hold on just a minute. Let me grab a spoon. And we're going to come over here and just give it a quick, quick stir. And you are set. That's how hard it is to have something that tastes really good ready for you to drink all day. Now, if you read on the internet, they'll say drink half a gallon a day. That's just not enough for me. I'm going to tell you it's not. I easily drink a gallon of water a day. That's a lot of water. It's a lot of trips to the bathroom, too. <laughs> but I am keep, keep, keeping my bowels going, and I'm keeping my urinary tract system clean. Just between me and you, I have problems with urinary tract infections. Not when I am making sure I get enough water in me. Does that all make sense to you? I hope it will give you some good ideas of how to keep your system, your digestive system, clean and flowing and just make you feel better. And this stuff and this stuff, they taste good. So check them out. And you can write me if you have any questions. Well, I wanted to be sure and thank our sponsors. Let me get my note because I have to do them in the right order. I'm just particular about that. Our sponsors today were uh, Passmore's Grocery and Grill on Saluda. You're going to go and ask them about the witness stick, and they're going to tell you about it. Make sure you have lunch. You'll order maybe some, I don't know, sausage or pork. They specialize in um, pork products that you can order and take home and fix. Vitamin Depot, and you're going to talk to Vitamin Depot when you go there about sweet drops. You're going to be glad you bought this stuff. You can carry this in your purse or it also comes in little packets, you know, like Sweet and Low does, which is very convenient. And Life in the Carolinas, Mr. Carl White and the wonderful show he produces there. Check it out, lifeinthecarolinas.com. Well, I hope you have a good day. I hope you find smiles. I hope you eat breakfast. I hope you drink lots of waters. And join me tomorrow. We're going to be back in the kitchen. And we're cooking quinoa patties. Oh, that's what I'll have for supper tomorrow night because I'm going to make it with you. Blessings and smiles on your day.